Hi. Every Java class you write inherits the java.lang.object class. Although you don't do this explicitly, the Java compiler adds this when it generates the bytecode out of your Java classes. As a result, all your Java classes inherit some rich methods and two such methods are the equals and hash code methods. Today, we will learn why we need to overwrite these two methods in your Java classes so that the instances of your Java classes can be added as keys to collection classes like HashMap. To get started, let's look at the double equals operator in Java. The double equals operator, when you use it to compare two primitive types like integers or double, it sees if the values of these primitive types are same and it returns true if the values are same and it returns false if the values are not same. If you compare two object types, for example, let's say you are working on a hospital management software and you have a class called patient and one field called ID which uniquely identifies that patient. Now if you create two instances of this patient class, let's say patient P1 is equal to new patient, patient P2 is equal to new patient and if you say P1 double equals P2, the double equals operator will return false because it checks if P1 and P2 are pointing to the same object in memory and not the actual values of these two instances. Now if we, if we set p1.id is equal to 1, p2.id is equal to 1, even though the IDs are same, when you compare p1, P1 double equals P2, it still returns false because it doesn't compare the contents of the actual object objects but it compares the references. Similarly, the equals method, the default implementation of the equals method in the object class does the same. It uses the double equals operator. As a result, it will not compare the contents but the references. Now, if you add your objects as keys to HashMap, for example, you are adding the patient and their billing information to a HashMap where the patient object is the key and the billing information is the value. Without overriding the equals method, there is no way for you to retrieve back a particular patient's billing information unless you have the handle on the initial patient object because the hash map will never be able to find the object you are looking for if you don't override the equals method and if it keeps using the double equals and it keeps failing as false. So you have to have a handle of the initial object which you added to the hash map in order to retrieve it back which is a pain and that's exactly where you override the equals method and you compare the IDs or some fields that can uniquely identify a particular instance of a class and make sure if the IDs are equal the equals method should return true and if they are false it should return false. So let's look at the equals method. The equals method returns a boolean type and it takes the object type as the parameter and when you implement it you should make sure that the object is of type of patient your appropriate class otherwise when you try to typecast it if it's of the wrong type it will throw a class cast exception so you first check for the, if the incoming object is of the current type, uh, correct type and then you typecast it and then your actual equals logic goes here which is very simple we are comparing the patient id to this dot id so when the equals object equals method gets called like p1 dot equals p2 we compare the p1's id to the p2's id and we return true if they are equal and if they are not equal at the end of it we are returning a false value now when we add these two patient instances or one patient instance to as a key to a hash map using this equals method the hash map can return back the appropriate values the java docs define a equals contract which states four different rules the first one being 
the equals method should be reflective reflexive which means p1 dot equals p1 always returns true if we are using the equals method to compare the same object it should always return true the equals method should be symmetric meaning if p1 dot equals p2 returns true then p2 dot equals p1 also returns true it should be transitive meaning p1 dot equals p2 returns true p2 dot equals p3 returns true then p1 dot p3 also should return true and the last one the equals method should be consistent so every time you call the equals method with two object it should return the same result another rule is that if the equals method returns true for two two objects then their hash code value the ha the hash code values also should match the return value from their hash code method should also be the same so that takes us to the hash code method which is another important method for uh, which you need to overwrite for your objects to be added to uh, hash map as, as as keys to the hash map class the way hashing works is the hash code method returns an int value which the collections like hash map use to store your objects into appropriate buckets or storage locations in memory so that it's easy or quick to retrieve them they can quickly retrieve your objects at runtime using the hash code for example if the hash code for two different objects is 9 both the objects will go into a particular bucket if the hash code for two or three objects is 18 they go into a different bucket and if the hash code for four or five objects is 27 they go into this bucket here and at runtime when you want to retrieve these objects back it's easy to locate instead of going through all the buckets it can straight away if the hash code for the object you are looking for is 9 it can go uh, go find your object in this bucket and it's your responsibility to implement a good hash code method and make sure not uh, not all the objects will fall into the same bucket people have done phds on hash codes but at a minimum you should make sure that not all the objects fall into the same bucket or the hash code method should not return the same value for all the objects and you should also make sure that if the equals method returns true for two different objects then the hash code method should return the same value for those two objects the hash code also has a contract which the java docs define and it's your assignment to read it I have posted the link to the Java Docs hash code contract on my blog. Please read it and if you have any questions, shoot me an email at paratsblog at gmail.com. To quickly recap, you now know why we need to override the equals and hash code methods. You also know the equals contract. Without overriding the equals method, there is no way for a program to add objects as keys to a hash map and then retrieve them back. And the default implementation of equals method in an object class uses the double equals operator so it doesn't compare the values but it just looks for the references and the hash code is used by collections like hash map to quickly locate the objects to store and then quickly locate the objects and as a programmer your responsibility is to make sure if two objects if the equals method returns true for two objects then their hash code should also be the same at a minimum you should also make sure that not all the objects fall into the same bucket otherwise it will have a performance hit in the next presentation i will be presenting the the set and the map interfaces and classes and then we'll do a hands on a collections hands on before we conclude collections until then, keep sharing and learning. Thanks for watching.